and we can uh, we can see right here this dotted line was created here based on those three data points. And you can do you, again, you can filter these um, as you saw, min, max, average uh, over any time period you like. Now, one of the other things you can do is you can change your scaling for any one of these axes to get better granularity. For example, if we wanted to look at relative humidity only between 40 and 60 percent, because right here it's auto scaled from approximately 35 percent up to about 85 percent. And that's based on this spike here from when I put my hand on the logger when it was logging. So if we select this, we can see these little dots appear. We select this axis and we double click on it. We get an axis properties box. And we can put in, we can change the name. We can change the color. We can show grid lines, which will give us uh, horizontal grid, li grid lines. We can move it to from the right to the left if we want. We can, again, there's auto uh, calculate tick marks. We can change the tick marks or the graduation. For this purpose of this exercise, we want to change the min and max. So let's change it to, uh, what did I say, 50% to 80%. Let's try that. So the minimum is going to be 50. And the maximum will be 80. Okay. And if we apply that and say done, you'll see that it actually shifted it way down there because it's still trying to display that. Slide it up, and that gives us a little more, uh, a little more resolution of the of the graph, and it also separates the temperature from the relative humidity uh, measurements, so it gives you a little better way to view it. Okay. Um, and it's done similarly for the uh, temperature, and you can also do it for time. You can change the the, the granularity of the time. You can add custom tick marks, etc. So those are some of the features um, in the readout pane um, that allow you to customize your data. Once you create um, a new plot like this, like we just, mo again, we didn't modify the data. We can't do that in the software. But what we can do is we can apply filters to create new plots. And we can change the look of the data. So once we do that, if we're happy with how this looks, we can actually save this. As, and so we can recall this configuration again rather than have to go through it every time we open up um, this particular hobo file. That's the extension that we use for this USB-based logger. We can save it as what we call at onset a project file or a HoboWare project file. And what that does is it maintains the configuration and the formatting that we just um, created. So the way we would do that is we would say file and we would say save project or control shift X. So if we select that, and again, it asks where we're going to save it. We can just put it right on the desktop. And it defaults to the name of the deployment. Again, it's, we're not changing the data at all, but what we're doing is we're maintaining the formatting that we just uh, put in, the scaling and the filter. Now, there's some things you can do with the data after this if you want to create custom reports outside of HoboWare. Uh, basically, there's three different ways to do that. One is to, you can simply do a copy of the data uh, plot to your clipboard. And that allows you to paste it into any other um, application that you may want to create a report in Excel. Microsoft Word or something like that. And that is very simply a right click and a copy graph to clipboard. And all that does is copy the graph part only, the XY plot. The other way you can get this into a, an external program is to do a print points. If you go
go to File, and select Print Points. And I'm not going to do that right here, but basically what you end up with is that. You get the table configured just like this. Uh, it's not in an Excel spreadsheet format. It is strictly for printing. Um, you can print it to a file. You can print it to an Adobe file or you can print it to a printer. The way most most of our customers use uh, export the data for reporting is to uh, a spreadsheet format. And you do that by going to File and clicking on the right button, which is Export Points as Excel Text. Again, you can export details, but all that is all it is is the um, deployment details. It's not the data. You want to export the data, and it gives you the ability to export to a single file if you don't have too much data, or you can actually export it to multiple files, as there is a um, a line limitation in Excel. Now the format of the of the file and how it's exported is set in the file preferences. And there's a lot of, uh, we could do a whole webcast about preferences in Hoboware. My suggestion would be when you get the software is to go through pre uh, pre uh, preferences and uh, configure it as you would like to. Export settings is where you would do that. And basically you can select comma, semicolon, or tab separated variable. You can set up the time and date format to be in separate or uh, a common column, and you can include in the column he header or exclude the logger serial number or the s and the sensor serial numbers if um, if they are smart sensors, which is a different product than what we're talking about today. So that gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want to uh, handle your data and how you can export to create your custom reports. That concludes our webcast on data logging software. Thanks for joining us. To learn more about data logging software, please visit our website at www.onsetcomp.com.